So here's an interesting hand. I went ahead and folded on the river due to the action. Not so much the combinatorials, but the action. So this is the hand. I had king queen under the gun plus one. Big blind had deuce ten of hearts. And let's go to the player, to the replayer. I open, I get two callers. He's supposed to fold. Player two checks, deuce checks, and I bet, I bet 7.5, which is half pot, but I think this quarter pot has something to do with hand strength. If I bet quarter pot, then by showdown, my hand is still super strong. 1.46 at the as betting strength if this was an all in and two but at half pot it goes down to 1.25 so this has to do with keeping the range wider is the theory behind the quarter pot bet so anyways snowy believes that i should uh, bet quarter pot as optimal for whatever reason. I suppose it's also because I only have a queen kicker. And so he he's supposed to fold, but he calls. And then the turn comes out. He checks and that's correct for him. Playing flow, Snowy wants me the player three to play in flow and for me to also bet quarter pot and let's look at the hand strength meter again if i bet quarter pot the hand strength that showdown or the betting strength is 1.45 if this was all in if i bet two pot my the strength of my hand becomes medium relatively so this is relative strength meaning that if i bet quarter pot and I get called my relative strength is 1.45 if I bet two pot and I get called boy I have something pretty weak so optimal size is quarter pot and not betting is not the right move either so I should bet quarter pot in order to be correct. I I kind of get that, looking at the hand strength meter, looking at my king queen, looking at the board texture, looking at the strength of my hand. That's all fine. And then thirty dollars is the river bet. He just leads out into me, and Snowy believes that I should call. Even though there's three clubs, but it's less likely that he would have a, a completed club unless he had ace, deuce, ace three of clubs. Something like that. Anyways, I'm supposed to actually call here and I just wasn't sure. In game, I made a fold, but is that really correct? So, combinatorial versus human action. I know we don't want to deviate too much from the optimal play, game theory play. So, When he leads out, and he had been weak all the way through, and then he wakes up with a river shove. 
or river pot bet. See, it's, we're checking, checking, and then he just leads into me, trying to make up for value. So, game theory says I'm supposed to call. Game theory says I don't worry about any of this. I just call because the math is right. And my hand strength is 1.12. His betting strength, is, it doesn't really matter. He could bet two pots and he's still strong because he's got a full house. That makes sense. So he has nothing to worry about. My hang strength is 1.12. And based on that, Snowy believes I should call. So I'm starting to be able to use this showdown meter and betting strength meter more effectively now. So anyways, that's an interesting hand.